let's talk about genes. Not the denim kind. I mean the ones inside your body. You see, all living organisms, be it fungi, plants, animals or humans, all of them are made up of cells. And each of these cells, except the red blood cells, have a nucleus. Some of them even have multiple nuclei. But that's not the point. We want to focus on what's inside the nucleus. Inside, there are chromosomes. Each of us has 46 chromosomes. That is 23 pairs. 23 from mom and 23 from dad. And what are chromosomes made of? Well, mostly DNA, that stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And this DNA is wrapped around proteins, all neatly packed in the nucleus. Now, DNA is like the ultimate blueprint, much like the blueprint of a house, needed to build you and keep you running 24 into 7. And just how different pages of a blueprint have instructions to build different parts of a house, the instructions to make you are split into segments called genes. And one gene might tell your body how to digest milk, another might influence your height, another your blood group, skin color, hair type, you name it. In fact, humans have over 20,000 genes spread across 46 chromosomes each telling your body to do something or the other. And how does your body execute it? By making proteins, which then decides how you digest milk, your height, your blood group, your skin color, so on and so forth. In other words, proteins shape how you look and function, both on the inside and on the outside. Now for DNA to be the ultimate blueprint, it needs to be able to use its genes and make proteins from it. And how do we form proteins from genes? We make it in a process called gene expression. Gene expression involves two steps, transcription and translation. In this video, we will focus on transcription. DNA, as we said, is the ultimate blueprint, which makes it super precious. You don't want to take it out for a stroll around the cell. It should remain safe and secure within the nucleus. Imagine you are building a house. You don't carry the original blueprint around the muddy construction site, right? Instead, you make a photocopy of just the page you need. That's what your cell does too. It makes a working copy of just the gene it needs. This working copy is called the mRNA or the messenger RNA. This copy is short-lived and it's also portable. It can be carried outside the nucleus and read by the cell's machinery to make protein. And making that mRNA from a gene in the DNA, that's what we call transcription. Now, because DNA never leaves the nucleus, this copy-making process of transcription also happens right within the nucleus. And once the mRNA is made and it's finished and polished when it's all mature, it leaves the nucleus through the nuclear pore to be read by the ribosomes. The ribosomes read the mRNA and make proteins make proteins but before proteins can be built transcription has to take place right so the first question is how does transcription take place you see the gene to be expressed is chosen and located on the dna once located this part of the dna with the gene needs to be unzipped and this is where the transcription superstar rna polymerase arrives RNA polymerase swoops down on the gene, like an airplane approaching a runway. It knows exactly where to land on the DNA, thanks to additional proteins called transcription factors that help with this. 
Once docked, RNA polymerase travels along the gene and unzips it. And as it moves, it builds a complementary mRNA along the way. And this is done by inserting uracil opposite adenine, cytosine opposite guanine, adenine opposite thymine and guanine opposite cytosine. And this new strand that is formed, this is our mRNA, a working copy of our gene. And once the mRNA is formed, the two strands of DNA, they join back together. And the RNA polymerase lifts off and moves on to its next target. But wait, the mRNA formed is still not ready to leave the nucleus. It needs some protective gears like a cap and a tail, which are also made up of nucleotides. Think of this process as packing glassware with bubble wrap to keep them safe as the mRNA heads out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. Now, once in the cytoplasm, the mRNA is read by the ribosome and proteins are made in this process. And this is the process that we call translation, which by the way is our story for the next video. But before moving on, here's a quick recap. You see, DNA is the ultimate blueprint that stays safe inside the nucleus. Genes are small segments of DNA with specific instructions, usually to make proteins. And to make protein from a gene, a cell first makes a working copy of the gene called the mRNA. This process of making mRNA from the gene is called transcription. And during the process of transcription, the enzyme RNA polymerase unzips the gene and builds the mRNA strand using complementary bases. The mRNA is then processed and sent out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. And finally, in the cytoplasm, the mRNA works with the ribosome and makes proteins. So that's transcription in action. The DNA stays safe, mRNA carries the message and proteins are just around the corner.